Hey, uh, someplace in uh, Washington State, how come mine doesn't lock out? Huh? How come my Windows Live Mail doesn't lock out? You did, see, I'm not secure, folks. Be no black, more facts and truth. So let's go to some space facts. And yes, folks, I'm the only electrician, scientist, shade tree scientist in the world that doesn't have security. See up here, there's no paddle lock and there's no secure sign-in on uh, Hotmail. Uh, what's this company's name here? Can someone give them a message and say, hey, the man, this prick, Beano Black, would like to have his mail locked out? Uh, you know, at least just the black boxes, CIA, FBI, and so forth and so on. What the flip is this shit? All right. I'm just me. Being on black, folks. Ralph Black. 24-7, the truth. And 24-7 truth gets you this. No paddle lock on your email sign-ins. Hey, hackwindows.com. So anyway, it got to be a pretty damn strong conclusion that Venus protects Earth pretty damn good, ladies and gentlemen. Or, because basically as you see when we go to Solar Artists, you'll see how the CMEs pop off the backside of the sun and they swirl and then they come around and they will go, and let's go to Solar Artists real fast. So all the planets probably do, because they're saying that that's Venus, okay? But it's a long ways along, as you've just seen the map that I showed you, okay? And it, that's what was first, it's kind of, it's just very impressive, folks, because the idea that it's doing some sort of protection, there's our axis right now action and then we'll come down to the CME map okay if we can get to my computer loves not the black boxes okay so no info there for you down there not really nothing interesting ladies and gentlemen there for the black boxes okay so we have CME action that comes off here okay and it swirls around and this is earth and let's go back to uh, behind again. So as those swirl around, and then we got stereo A and B, you know which one satellites those are at. And then as we are looking from A, it's Im impressive how huge Venus is absorbing sunlight or something, and the supergiants glow and so forth and so on. And then also that ob. So no matter what, we've got huge something right there. Comets, planet. Uh, now Saturn has been doing some weird stuff. Let's knock this down to uh, like 150 so you get a good idea what the heck's going on here. But well, we've been looking at that huge there on the previous video. It should be uploading right now. we got Uranus out our back door. I, if the video just before this, you'll see we blew up on that at 1,000. Take a look at that. We know the sun's over here. We know we got Mercury and Venus and so forth. As you just seen on the map, I didn't have to go back to that map. You just have to go back to the beginning of the video so you get a good knowledgeable on that okay this is h12a so that was a head so it's on the right hand side looking across okay so it's very impressive what cme action that venus and other planets have along the time and either that or it's putting off a hell of a what we call a cme reactive flare not a inner uh camera flare okay because no matter what we see this out here and i.e the sun and the supergiants here the big old wing Okay, because the, the lasers find the sun in all that every day, what we know to be our sun. And basically, we probably have four suns because we've had some very famous scientists that passed away that had loose lips that told us that we had four suns, at least for us in the Milky Way galaxy anyway. But there's a hundred, over 101 because if you include the sun in the supergiants, because the sun is in the supergiants, okay? And Venus is hella big because idea H1b is closer camera, so it looks bigger there. But why would it look so doggone big on H1A? And like I say, Venus is hell a long ways away from. And also, uh, like I say, uh, Stereo A. And we got to find uh, Mars is back over here. Okay. At least either that or they're screwed up. And there's the sun and there's Earth. And we know that they are saying that we are seeing Mercury which Mercury is here with Messenger because Messenger, I believe, is getting shaded by Mercury to get the shots that it gets. Messenger, you see, and then Mercury. It's because Mercury's over here by it. Now we're going to go down on the Solar Artist thing, and you'll see uh, we'll get our shots real fast. Sorry about the judder. It just saves time editing and stuff so forth. So we know we've been seeing this, and this is the latest shot today of that. Okay, and I can even click in on that, and then we'll go to a movie. 
Okay, so there's what you're seeing there. Don't even need to get up to a thousand or anything like that. So there, we are supposed to believe that this is Venus, and if it is, then it's hella catching a shitload of CME action. Okay, because that is very, very flipping interesting. Be look of that all the way across, because we know that this is stereo A head, and just go. So just go back to the map I had at the beginning of the video. For, so now you have to watch the very interesting, and even though it's camera shutter. Saturn is very interesting. I mean, it's way the hell out there and getting a lot of action and see how small it looks. Okay. Uh, also, and these are all different cameras you can see in the denotum. It plays through the week. 12 through the 17th. Okay, and there's some stuff that someone didn't want us to see on like the 12th. On the 13th, 14th, there must have been some interesting stuff or they must have had a lot of CME because you see it skip through there pretty fast. You get the 12th, the 13th, and the 15th. But the 14th, there you go, 13th. So there must be some interesting stuff on the 14th to see on some shots. Okay, so that's Saturn up there a long ways away. We also have this group down here that I'm not sure... It makes me believe that the idea that that, I'm not sure if it's, it, I really don't think that that's Earth in these here. It's just that, that cluster, that, is that, could it possibly be Pleiades and stuff like that out there? I'm not sure. And that's on H1A ahead, uh, okay. Massive CME action. So let's go to a video from today, or the, about the 20th or something like that. And I want to compliment somebody that made a comment a long time ago about certain places of the middle of nowhere, like North Pole and South Pole and stuff. And they, and yeah, I agree. Modern day, they can get stuff in there real fast and get people out and stuff like that. Because check this out. Helicopter. Okay. You see that helicopter there? Okay. And this is nothing for the German. I guess it's basically only German, German scientists can get in, in and out of like Antarctica and stuff like that. Because compass my ass. You see what I'm saying? You got satellites. Okay. So the idea that Believe me, I mean, sub submarines pop up in the North Pole, up through the ice and stuff like that. I mean, get get real. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And down there, there is tundra underneath some parts of the Antarctic, okay, the ice and stuff like that. So, but I mean, uh, I guess there's just a couple of scientists down there that get to use the helicopter instead of using the snowmobiles. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I hope nobody's hurt or sick down there. I hope everything's going just fine. I hope it's just research. Okay, and we've seen this. This is the video earlier of the of the object and so forth and so on that's there. Okay, and darkens up the sun and so forth. Maybe somebody important wanted to come down to see it for for real. Okay, so we showed that earlier. I was going to sit there and let it play and show that the basically that little sun in front of the sun comes up too. So I'll hit start and we'll see. We'll let that play and let's see what else we can find. I'll come back to this. Yeah, I just want to say hello to anybody in Missouri there, southeastern Missouri, 4.0. Love your precious down there. All right, so 4.0, southeastern Missouri. And then we got some action down here from a huge CME that set you and everything was pretty pr impressive and proud about. Okay, now in the past I may have been, you know, because I don't do any editing and stuff like that. Now, this one here was, I don't believe, directed at Earth. It's hard to tell. This core two and they're put together. So these videos are put together to show you what's going on up there. Huge CME. That's a big ass blast. Of the sun is huge, folks. It takes 11 Jupiters to make the sun. 10 point something Jupiters. That's huge. So we sure hope we want to thank Venus for protecting us and whatever the hell. Because uh, God Almighty or whatever the heck, doesn't matter. Sometimes forget religion. Anything that's protecting us from that, holy buckets. That's a that's a big Zippo lighter there, ladies and gentlemen. I'll tell you that right now. Or a another brand, but that's somewhat of, was American to begin with. But I don't know. I don't really care. But damn, that's a that's a big ass freaking Zippo lighter right there, folks. No matter what, that's a big matchstick. 
Yep. And as the cameras involved, they all got affected by CME static electricity on that action there. So huge, huge. The sun is not boring lately, ladies and gentlemen. It's very interesting. Okay, Tons of stuff in the sky and space that's going on right now. And it's all a hushed. And they get on and talk about fake big BS about tornadoes on uh, the sun. It's a bunch of horse hockey. Okay, It's CMEs that are always going on that are normal. And yes, those vortexes probably roll around at 300,000 miles an hour or something like that. Big ass deal. But this is what you really want to see. Flipping little tornadoes, but they basically blow up on what suns, sun shots that we've always known on Helioviewer. They look at these little, and basically they're huge because they've, at least they did show on a certain TV channel when they were talking about tornadoes on the sun. They did actually give you a good idea how t damn small the earth is. So we want it, Mr. Mr. T, I'll say it that way because we know he still owns a hell of a lot of stock or got a nice little... Mr. T, thank you. Greatest TV station I've ever seen in the United States or in the world because no matter what, you get a little bit of truth from that C and then that's as far as I'll go. So thank you, Mr. T. Anyway, hello, Southern United States and all the United States and all everything. And all I know is the sun is trying to light a cigar somewhere ladies and gentlemen that is flipping out of this world and i hope it stays out of the world of us earth because that would definitely knock some shit down folks electrical and everything that is awesome and like we say it looks like venus is taking a hell of a lot more nastiness right now than anything because mercury looks all right because no matter what even if the cmes are missing venus she's sure getting a hell of glowy and we know the camera's closed, okay? But still, this is very... Venus has given us some very great looks. I.e. Venus, and remember they can turn the satellite around. And there you got Earth and Venus on H2B. And once again, we got this over here. And that's huge because we know Jupiter's huge. And Jupiter's, I think, even a long ways away from that. And that's huge, whatever that common area is or planet or whatever the hell is all of a sudden in in this H12A because no matter what Venus is the closest thing down in the well okay Mercury's a little bit off I think this will be Earth and then Venus and the Sun and the supergiants are in the well very in the hole the tiny little hole but they are huge and this is everything that's very rare for them to show us on a Soho shot Uranus okay so that's outer back door in the darkness because there are only known suns to be way to hell that recently were found, I think 2006 or something in 2000, way up behind. They had to be just the right position and they were able to see up behind Uranus and Neptune and so forth and so on and be able to see uh, the suns. And you can go to Worldwide Telescope and you'll be able to see some of those pictures of those suns that are supposed to be up way behind Uranus and Neptune and so forth. And we don't even, I don't even know if they got names yet. So they're saying we can see Venus that damn good. So it's getting hella glow from CMEs, folks. And here's that CME also. And I don't know if I can get this to play or not. But this is a shot of also the CME action that's out there. So anyway, I'm not getting the movie to play very good on this one here. So I'll, I'll go ahead and take a look at another one. So you know that this was fresh one of Core 2A movie. And I'll do a couple steps. But that's about all I'm able to. And the idea, I'll have to stay down here and then I'll try to show you as much as... There we go. We're getting a little action now. Now we're playing. There you go. They got that marked as Venus. And it somewhat could be. It's supposed to be out there. But the idea, that it's sure the hell showing up sharp. Large. From all the way across. So I guess it must just be the zoom. And then, as you know, layers, folks, because as I showed you on the photos before, you're not seeing, as you see, this is a head, right? And it's on the 20th, right? 19th? I think it'll, yeah, it's just something to play on the 19th. We'll check this out. So no matter what, this must have just come into view, as you see that up there. And we know Jupiter's the biggest thing in flipping uh, Milky Way galaxy. So very interesting stars. And we probably know what they are, but let's talk, folks. Okay. H1A.